Hey everyone and welcome back to another 3D printing video. Today we're going to be doing some wood finish uh, using wood finishing cloths. These are dark mahogany and these are going to be applied to some 3D prints that we did on some Hatchbox wood filament. Now uh, these models that you're going to see today are a Ninja Turtles Tiki Totem by uh, Hex 3D. And then we're going to do the actual mask from the movie The Mask, the Loki Mask. And basically what I wanted to do here was uh, with, with the wood filament, uh, it came out, it felt like wood, it looked like wood, you know, as I cleaned off the supports, it uh, felt like I was actually carving wood, and someone gave me the idea uh, and a couple of videos about wood staining, and that adding wood stain to these 3D printed wood pieces uh, would just make it pop and be that much better. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is sand everything down really well. Then you're going to take these wood finishing cloths and you're going to apply it very thick over your entire print. You know, uh, you can just keep scrubbing away, um, kind of making sure that it's fully covered and going into any of the cracks and crevices and uh, I do apologize I know my hands gonna be in the way a lot during this but um, I, I will show you what it looks like as it pro progresses and again this uh, this was a Ninja Turtles Tiki like totem pole that was part of hex 3d's patreon account so if you're looking for this file you can go to his patreon and pick it up and it's 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 a great print and it was perfect for uh you know doing a wood filament because it's tiki but the the important thing here is making sure just to get ample coverage um make sure that everything's nice and soak through as you can see it looks kind of like a chocolate candy bar at the moment and um, once you are happy with it and get it you know fully covered fully saturated um, you're gonna want to wipe off all the excess and then once you wipe the excess off uh, that should give it give it some time to dry and then after about a day or so uh, it will look like real mahogany wood. I was actually really surprised with how all this turned out. And make sure that you have some stuff down. Wear some gloves. It, it is messy. It gets super messy. As you can see, uh, it's already getting uh, stain onto my styrofoam. But it is going onto the print. Uh, the same way it would actual wood. Now, if you apply this and then decide that you want it to be even darker, then after it dries, you just apply another round of coat on it and uh, it'll start darkening up the stain. Then just take a dry paper towel, wipe it down, uh, once once you wipe it down and get it fairly dry, you'll be able to see any spots you missed or, um, you know, need to add more to. I know as I was doing this, uh, I found little small areas and cracks and little things up underneath that I didn't quite get. So I had to keep uh, scrubbing. And at some points, you won't even need to... Uh, reapply the actual finishing cloth because with the paper towel as it's soaking all that up it's also kind of spreading it out and moving it around it kind of reminds me in a in a weird way of dry brushing like whenever you're trying to paint a model and you dry brush so um 
you basically just start wiping it away and spreading it and rubbing it in and the the end results you'll definitely be pleased with and and i know going further uh i was really pleased with how it came out on my loki mask okay so while i am going over this and finishing it and making sure that it's in all the little cracks and crevices so that all those tiki details can come out i'm gonna put on a little bit of uh montage music so to speak and uh Hope you guys enjoy the process, it was super fun. All right, so another thing is this video would not have been possible without the help of Things 3D. Over at Things, they were nice enough to send me over some filament to play with and to mess with some models and do some different things. Uh, this website is relatively new, so if you guys are familiar with like Thingverse and stuff like that, um, I personally prefer Things. Uh, it's a new up-and-coming site. It is 100% free. It also has some exclusive models for some very awesome creators. So all you have to do is go in and search for cool things to print. Or cool stuff to print. You know, whatever. But anyway, um, it has a really cool system. Easy stuff to find. Once you've liked something, you can come in and see all the different models that you've liked. Easy, quick access. Um, Chaos Cortec, one of my favorite modelers with uh, Chelsea and Garrett. They have a very large collection library of free models for you to 3D print. So be sure and check them out. Show some support for things and for Chaos Cortec. And of course, all the great artists 
over there. Also, it has this kind of feature where you can preview the model, but also, uh, depending on if you have a webcam or something set up, you can check it out in augmented reality. All right, so up next, this is the Loki mask from the movie The Mask. Now, I did have to print this in two parts just due to some of the error. Um, also, I used a lot of wood fill on this particular mask because uh, I was getting a lot of uh, extruder skips. Uh, the, my printer just really didn't like the wood filament that much, <laughs> to be honest. But I also wanted to find out if when you go to put this uh, wood finishing stain on top of wood PLA that's been covered with wood filler would the results still be the same will the filler stain the same as the mask uh, what kind of inconsistencies will be there and I have to say that uh, when this is all said and done I I was just super impressed this mask the totem everything looks fantastic so once again, I'm going to try to show as best I can uh, without keeping my hands in the way. So I'll try to rotate this as much as possible so you guys can see this being applied. But I am literally just scrubbing. I am taking this cloth. I am scrubbing. I am squeezing. I am making sure that it's getting a ton of coverage and it's just in every crack and crevice because when it comes to textured stuff like this as you can already see based on what this looked like before it's very important to get that into the crack so think of it as a wash when you when you do a wash when you do a dry brush things that you really want to bring out the details now one thing that uh, it unfortunately did not do uh when i had to put the two pieces of the mask together um, of course I, I glued it and then I filled it with wood filler and I thought maybe after sanding, sanding it and filing it a little bit and then once putting the, uh, the wood stain on that the lines where I had to seal the mask would, you know, be covered or, you know, less visible. They're definitely a little less visible, but after the mask dried, um, you could definitely still kind of see the line there. Maybe going over it with another additional coat of wood filler or uh, wood stain later would, would help cover that up a little bit better. But um, for the most part, it was just a test and I'll let you guys check it out and see the end result and uh, see what you think.
All right, and that's the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you found it useful, you know, share it.